sign of Sagittarius. This is going to play out in many distinct and interesting ways. One can say you have the similar black moon Lilith in Sagittarius if you have an aspect from Jupiter. So this can also apply to you. Black moon Lilith in Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is expansive, optimistic, and freedom loving. Black moon Lilith in the sign of Sagittarius is really going to play up her more wild an untamed nature. She's going to be very freedom loving, very much looking towards the future, and just full of excitement about life. Now this sign is also very comfortable in the role of teaching themselves as, as, as someone who others can benefit from in terms of sharing their philosophy, sharing their wisdom, and uh, their, their perception of the world. Now here's the thing. Okay, we're, we're going to really go into, because that really just kind of sounds like the general Jupiterian, Sagittarian type outlook. As we all know, in the, in the myth, Lilith rejects her place in, I don't know, in, in the, the divine plan, right? She wasn't happy with what was originally to her. She said the ineffable name of God and flew away and she paved her own way for herself. That's what she did. That it's kind of like the left-hand path, um, which is kind of like this Luciferian or satanic mysticism, where the main the main focus is is that one builds and creates their own path and their own destiny for themselves by accepting their own personal power rather than submitting to God, right? Okay, so is um, yeah, I think Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius is extremely comfortable in her outlook on the world, her spiritual outlook of the world. She feels blessed in everything she does. She knows what she's doing. Ultimately, she has faith in a higher power, and she will keep going about what she's doing. So with this spiritual arrogance thing, it's uh, it's hard because I think. One of the things with Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius is they're going to have a lot of difficulty letting go and letting God, right? Now, if this Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius is in an, with, in an uncomfortable aspect or maybe you're just not comfortable expressing Black Moon Lilith energy, these are all possibilities. Even if there is some kind of regret, ultimately, at the end of the day, she's she's going to know that she may have like gone to the underworld but she feels right in what she did and that her intention was in the right place her heart was in the right place so all is right in the world when lilith could not submit to god she felt she could live her way in a better way she can take life into her own hands we are talking about black moon lilith and what i really feel about Lilith energy, Black Moon Lilith, is that I it plays a huge part in the subconscious mind. I think Black Moon Lilith is the subconscious. It is our dreams. It is that purely creative energy. Because of this subconscious mind, it's it's really incredible. Uh, does it really direct the show? Is it really? I mean, who knows, right? But I, I feel that the subconscious mind, um, a, a fear plays a big role in it. If you really, really tap into a Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius type energy or Black Moon Lilith conjunct Jupiter energy, by not allowing God to work for you, you can further hinder your situation. You can be like kind of a control freak. You can be just trying to make life like work in your way, your way only. But the subconscious and God 
I think in in a way God is aware and, and knows of everything and well at least as your subconscious mind does your subconscious mind is aware of every single thought you have and every single feeling you have so if you allow yourself you have to trust your subconscious you have to trust it even though sometimes it may give you a little bit of fear and uh, just really see what where you're at because it, it'll test you I think Lilith is all about giving you a good test and seeing if you're worthy I think in one of the mythologies is that they say Lilith is the keeper of the gates of heaven and she holds a flaming sword and it's the sword of truth and wisdom and uh, you have to be able to pass her your heart must be pure before you can enter I love this archetype like I, <laughs> I love I, I think you know the subconscious mind Lilith black moon Lilith will test you and if you can't fall for the traps you set out for yourself by being afraid, you have to just be like, no, I have faith, keep on going, you know? And it's a, it's a harder, more difficult path. All right, so anyways, back on fear. Fear can also be used as a guiding system to let you know if you've fallen off track. Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a mutable sign, meaning again, it's dealing with opposites. So I, I think at once, um, Sagittarius is very optimistic and full of life and energy and is just so loving towards different people and different experiences but at the same time that same optimism can kind of go the other way and end up turning into some kind of like tolerance they can be judgmental you know phrase letting go and letting God is very relevant to Black Moon Lilith and the sign of Sagittarius Sagittarius is a mutable sign so at once it's going to feel very much like it's a part of God's plan. The Black Moon Lilith is also going to want to exert her own control over the situation. So there's going to be this push-pull dynamic where she's going to take situations in her own hands, maybe not trust the plan God has set out for herself because it works on fear in the subconscious mind. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius. Deeply spiritual, spiritual arrogance. Uh, letting go and letting God. Taking life into your own hands. Those are all things. Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius. And also spreading wisdom and being able to tell the tale and uh, let others learn from your experience. Alright, Black Moon Lilith and Sagittarius, thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe, my friends. Bye. Sky